Yes. Yes. Oh God, yes. And Moses. Yes. 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 No. Well, it's a good thing it's not up to you. That's right. It's the first episode of Core Zeons. Welcome. And today we're going to talk about Beast Wars Series 1 Ultra Megatron. It's Megatron! Woo! Okay, you know what time it is. Everyone, 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 roll the titles. Hello, good morning, and finger guns. I am very happy and excited and very nervous to bring you this internet video. Whoa. Oh god, so nervous. Anyway, so few and so many of you may be thinking, maybe talking to your priests, why? Why do this? Who this? Well, I think that we all have a story to tell. And this baby, this story is all about love. Oh, and mostly toys. Welcome to Core Zeons. Today's show, we'll be checking out Megatron. Woo -woo -woo -woo. I'm even dressed for the occasion. <laughs> now, this show is not for children. It may contain the following calamities. A little about me. I'm a self-proclaimed dork with delusions of grandeur, and I grew up as a lucky boy. No, I, uh, I didn't have a tea set, but I did have a ton of toys. Some my mommy bought me, and some I saved up my allowance for weeks just to be able to afford. And I kept a lot of them. So on this show, we're going to talk about old toys, new toys, 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 movies, maybe video games. Who knows where I'll go? We might even grab a slice of pizza. And you know what? I hope that we all learn something. If y'all like what you see and think my whole getup is sexy, please consider subscribing or donating to my Patreon. All links in the description. Of course, this is a Corazion's promise, an exclusive. I will be sending the COVID-19 vaccine to any subscribers, and that's a promise. I'm coming to you from good old Buffalo, New York, the 716. Represent fools, and we hate you. Now, um, if, but if we're going to talk about Beast Wars Megatron, we're going to have to go down into the secret basement caves of the 1990s. <sighs> it's dark. I don't know why I just didn't turn the light on. It's, it's over there. It's too far. Here we go. This is it. Okay, let's talk about the toy. Now, uh, this thing, uh, you know what, it's still pretty cool. I mean, back in the day, it was the tits. Now, the toys that I critique will likely be toys that I've had or bought recently, and I don't have a lot of money, so these reviews are gonna be mostly positive because I don't just buy any old crap. And I'm a positive person, you maximal scum. This is the original Beast Wars Megatron. Beast Wars was my favorite and therefore best Transformers show. It still holds up today. And Megatron was my favorite character. Through my videos, you'll find that I have more Megatrons than any other Transformer. His intro character design was just awesome. And I love dinos. A lot. He's cool looking, he's a T-Rex, he transforms, his voice is awesome, he's great. Beast Wars came out in 1996 and was groundbreaking for its plot, its characters, and its computer animation. Now, even if it can get a good goofy, it still rocks. And you can't even listen to the theme song without being covered in a puddle of your own Transformers filth. <laughs> This toy is the season one iteration of Megatron. And yes, I even used to have the original tiny toy bat 
and Crocodile Optimus and Megatron, but I don't really think about those. I don't have them anymore because it's just weird. They were tiny. Like, why are they so tiny? This thing came out in 1996. When I was 10 years old, I had never seen a naked lady. And some things never change. Inside the case, I kept this figure in beast mode because I think it's a superior sculpt of the toy. The sculpt is pretty good and not really show accurate, but given the time constraints between the animators and the toy, toy makers in the beginning, a lot of the original series ones don't really resemble their on-screen counterpart much, but the elements are there. It's more kind of a elephantine skin than scales. The color is lighter than the on-show counterpart, so it's more Easter, Easter Bunny Dino than Barney. He's got nice shiny white teeth and dead red eyes. Oh, Megs, if you were a corpse, I could kiss you. No, not again. The head swivels. The jaw moves up and down to activate, activate the dinosaur squirting sex gimmick. Now to do that, you just tear out his fucking throat. Fill it with water and blammo, Maggie goes spit spit. His big boy arms turn around and around and bend. Teeny bit of movement at the hip. Knees bend and rotate and the toesies go down. So not a huge amount of articulation, but, it's, but for the times, it's pretty good. Stop falling. Here he is next to a Jurassic World Trinosaurus. And... Let's transform this plump purple predacon. Now, I think that it would be funny if I did this from memory, without instructions, for my old toys at least. So we're gonna hear some swear words, I might mess it up, but I think it'd be a good time. And I think I remember him pretty good. All right, here we go. Beast Wars! Almost done already. Just gotta snap in his back and kaboom! We have our robot mode Megatron. Check that out. Pretty easy transformation. The robot mode is kind of dumb looking. The colors are weird, his expression is goofy, and that's pretty common for Beast Wars, but even with that, he's still kind of just a bulky mess. But there are several th cool things going for it. Check out these heels! The purple speedo me! His dino hip purses are kinda bulky and in the way, but the launch is strong. Check this out. Pew! He's been edging those shots, baby. The T-Rex head carries over to the beast mode. Still squirts like a The shoulders swivel. The arms move up and down. The bicep spins. T-Rex goes op open and shut. The waist rotates. On the tail claw arm, I always kind of disliked that he was stuck with this as a hand. Like, I wish that he had an actual hand. But the upcoming War for Cybertron Megatron seems to correct this. Or at least that one has a molded hand thing. Anyway, the gimmick is this snapping claw motion, which actually works pretty cool. The legs move up, back and forth. The knees spin, the knees move, just like in beast mode. And uh, the toesies still move, of course. And the heels move, but I mean, that's just to keep them standing. The head is, well, it kind of looks like Megatron. The all black body is kind of ugly and not great to look at. And the back kibble is pretty big. It's honking. He's got a big backpack on there. Webster's defines kibble as a communal farm in Israel. It isn't great, and I think the beast mode is better. But for what it is, it isn't bad. Decent posability, even if it looks like it's lugging around the family's luggage. This big boy is 8 inches tall. In beast mode, it's 7 inches tall and 12 inches long. All in all, handling this, my first beloved Megatron, it's pretty good. I mean, this gives me a lot of nostalgia-fueled consumers and to buy every iteration of Megatron that comes out, so I think they're doing something right. But, what does my exclusive dog review system say? Aby? Hmm. Not impressed.
but he is looking through at the googly eyes of youth. Yes, I'll be doing more Megatron videos, more Beast Wars Megatron videos in particular. I got uh, Transmetal, Transmetal 2 Dragon Megatron, War for Cybertron, this version, um, the Mateo Dragon, Dragon Beast thing, and of course, even the uh, Masterpiece. Ooh. So, in conclusion, it's a good, if slightly disappointing figure. I can't be too mad, though, because as an adult, we're treated to tons of new versions that are just awesome. And as a kid, the ki this kind of crappiness led to us using the old noodle to imagine better ways to play, a better life, and a better toy. It's not that great, so it stays in the caves in the dungeon in the 90s. But, uh, you know, I kept it around, so I must like it that much. Now, I think it's time to take it back into beast mode. Megatron, convert to beast mode! <laughs> I'm having trouble remembering how to do it correctly. Come on, you bitch! In the butt tail, I did the butt tail wrong. Oh, now that's broken open. Then. All right, finally, back to beast mode. That took way too long. We're done. We did it. That's our first show. Let me know what you think in the comments. Have some suggestions, but please be nice. It's my first time, you know. If you like what you saw, please uh, consider subscribing or donating to my Patreon. Patreon members will be getting some kind of exclusive content. I just haven't figured out what yet. And here is all my newly soul-crushing social media bits. I'm not gonna lie, I had a lot of fun doing this and uh, I hope to make more and eventually I hope to do about two a month. So now that we're through the toy portion of the show, I thought that we could, you know, sometimes kick back, grab a slice of pizza, I think it would be cool to get some local 716 Buffalo Rules pizza in here. And uh, I think it'd be, you know, fun to talk about how greasy they are, you know, those kind of things. So without further ado, today's pizza is from... Let's do this, Megatron. Affirmative Primal. Optimus Primal, maximize. <laughs> Megatron, terrorize. <laughs> Just you wait. I'm gonna fuck you up! Uh, 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 uh.